All right, let's solve the following problem. Let's find the area of the shaded region of these and then factor them out. So for this first one, if you look here, um, I know this lengthwise, so three on three, and then the widths Y, so it's going to be six plus Y. And then the height is going to be X plus three plus three, so six plus X. So we're going to get 36 plus 6x plus 6y plus xy. And then the middle term is just at minus xy. So it becomes minus xy, uh, the area of the middle term. So this cancels out the plus xy minus xy. So we end up with 6x plus 6y plus 36. We can factor out a 6. So we end up with quantity x plus y plus 6. And that's the area for the shaded region of the square right here. Okay, for this middle term here, so, or for 29 here, um, so the radius of the squares R, 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 so that's 2R, and then R, R, that's 4R, so 4R, 4R, so the area, let me do this, area is going to be equal to 4R times 4R, so this is the entire region and then minus um, four circles times pi r squared. So we end up with 16 r squared minus four pi r squared. We can factor out a four r squared, so we end up with four minus pi. And that's four minus 3.1459. But um, here, here's the area of the shaded region. And that's it. All right. I hope this helped you out. Thanks for watching. You have a great day.